Hatu weekend mtazamaji wangu mahali popote ulipo niombi na matumaini yangu kwamba ubweri wa afya na Mwenyezi Mungu unaendelea kukulinda karibu nikufahamisha yale ambayo yanaendelea kutokea hapa nchini Kenya mtazamaji hata kabla hajaendelea kuzungumza zaidi na kuomba kwanza utazame hii video Manuel international pressure is piling up on the government following increased wave of abductions forced disappearances and killings targeting mostly government critics in the country foreign governments as well as rights bodies are asking the government to safeguard internal fundamental human rights and abide by the rule of law our reporter Finiko Loch with this report today nine embassies based in Nairobi including the Royal Danish Embassy the Embassy of Finland as well as those of Germany Ireland the Netherlands Norway Sweden Switzerland and the British High Commission issued a joint statement through a news release issued on October 31st, the diplomatic mission called on Kenya to uphold its commitment to human rights, particularly given Kenya's recent election to the United Nations Human Rights Council. Their statement praises Kenya's constitution and its Bill of Rights, commending the legislative framework which guarantees freedoms for all citizens. The ambassadors emphasize that protecting human rights is essential to achieving stability and prosperity. Power, people, power. Who are the people? We, we are the people. However, the diplomats voice serious concerns over recent reports of arbitrary arrests and enforced disappearances. These incidents, they say, are occurring despite assurances from President William Ruto and previous High Court rulings affirming citizens' rights. There will be no extrajudicial killing in Kenya. That's number one. And I have made sure that there is no extrajudicial killing in Kenya. The envoys are underscoring the rule of law, stressing that judicial decisions must be respected and fully implemented. Kenya National Commission on Human Rights has also voiced its concern on the forced abductions and disappearances, pointing out the government on the violation of right to life, erosion of personal liberty and security, and stifling of civic space. The KNCHR has demanded immediate investigation and prosecution of perpetrators of the abductions, extrajudicial killings, and disappearances. The organization has also defended protection of human rights defenders and activists. Among the latest forced disappearances is that of lawyer John Eric Wesonga. Wesonga, a vocal government critic, was reportedly abducted in Ruaka Kiambu County on October 29th around 3.30 p.m., after which his phone was switched off. His whereabouts remains unknown. Another notable case is that of blogger Maverick Kaoko, who disappeared on October 23rd, her aide confirming her disappearance on Twitter on October 28th. The October 18th abductions of seven Turkish asylum seekers has also been added to the long list of alleged state-sanctioned abductions. And there is the infamous case of the Kitengela Three, Bob Njagi, along with two brothers Aslam and Jamil Longton, who went missing for over one month and detained by people believed to be police officers. As pressure mounts, Kenya faces a critical test on the global stage in its commitment to justice, transparency and human rights protection. Finik, Oluoch, Kate and News. So mtazamaji kulingana na hiyo video inaonekana kwamba hakutakuwa na tofauti yoyote hata baada ya Profesa Kithure Kindiki kuapishwa kama uh, Deputy President wa Kenya wa tatu kwa sababu ukikumbuka vizuri mtazamaji wangu huyu huyu Profesa Kithure Kindiki ndiye mtu ambaye alikuwa ana uh, alikuwa indeed ya Cabinet Secretary wakati hizi abductions mingi zilikuwa zinafanyika lakini pia kama unakumbuka vizuri wakati wa maandamano ya agency uh, professor Kithure Kindiki ndiye alikuwa indiri ya cabinet secretary na unakumbuka vizuri kwamba kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yaliweza kutokea kuna watu ambao walipotea mpaka leo hii hawajulikani walienda wapi lakini pia kuna watu wengine ambao uh, waliuawa wakati wa maandamano ya agency kuna wale ambao uh, mpaka leo hii familia yao haijui walienda wapi kwa sababu walipotea kutoka hiyo siku na mpaka leo hii hawajaweza kuonekana kwa hivyo Wakenya wengi wanaamini kwamba hakutakuwa na mabadiliko uh, sana katika mambo ya abductions na mambo ambayo yamekuwa kiendelea hapa nchini Kenya kwa sababu Profesa Kuthaya Kindiki ni yule ule mmoja tu ambaye alikuwa indeed ya cabinet secretary wakati haya mambo yote yalikuwa yanafanyika na sasa yeye ndio uh, deputy president wake William Samoei Ruto kwa hivyo hakutakuwa uh, na tofauti yoyote lakini pia ukikumbuka vizuri William Samoei Ruto alituambia kwamba wakati utawala wake Uhuru Kenyatta kulikuwa na team ama kulikuwa na kikundi ama kikosi 
ambayo ambacho kilikuwa kinalipwa na serikali uh, kilikuwa kinafanya kazi ya kuwaua watu ambao wana criticize serikali na kuwatupa rifayala na William Ruto akazungumza kabisa aka expose mambo mengi sana ambayo yalikuwa yanatokea wakati wa utawala wake Uhuru Kenyatta na akatuambia kwamba katika serikali yake hatutakuwaiona tena abductions hatutakuwa tutakuwaiona tena watu walikuwa na kwenda kutukua kwa mto kama mambo kama hayo kwa sababu yeye uh, alisema kwamba atahakikisha kwamba hakutakuwa na abductions na hakutakuwa na kikosi cha kufanya mauaji lakini ukikumbuka vizuri juzi tu Martha Karua alizungumza na kutuambia kwamba kuna kikosi cha watu ambao ni watu kutoka upande wa Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda na nchi tofauti tofauti ambao wako hapa nchini Kenya upande wa Karen na wengine wako Alpolos upande wa Kajado na kazi yao kubwa ambayo wanaifanya ni kuweza kudeal na watu ambao wana criticize serikali ya William Ruto na kuweza kuwaua. Hiyo ni kulingana na statement yake Martha Karua ambayo alizungumza siku chache tu ambazo zimeweza kupita na thani kwamba kama wewe ni mfuatiliani wa wa hii channel bila shaka tulifanya hiyo video hapa na nikakuwekea na vile Martha Karua alizungumza na kusema kwamba kuna hatari zaidi kwa sababu uh, kuna watu ambao kazi yao ambayo wanaifanya ni kuweza kufanya abductions na kuua watu ili waweze kulipwa na hiyo ndio kazi ambayo wameweza kupewa na serikali. Hiyo ni kulingana na statement yake uh, Martha Karua. Na ukikumbuka vizuri mtazamaji wangu tumekuwa tukitangaza hapa watu wengi sana wamekuwa wakipotea hata uh, jana Maafrika huko ndio wameweza kupatikana kumbuka vizuri tulizungumzia Maafrika huko hapa tukasema kwamba halipotea zaidi ya wiki mbili sasa na jana ndio aliweza kupatikana upande wa boda ya Tanzania Kenya akiwa amefanywa uh, mambo mabaya kwa sababu inasemekana kwamba alikuwa hajielewi kabisa na watu ambao walimpata karibu na gate yao wakaweza kumkimbiza hospitali na kufikia tunapozungumza sasa hivi Maafrika auko yuko hospitali na yuko ali mbaya tho anaendelea kupata matibabu lakini huyo ni mmoja kati ya watu wengi sana ambao wamekuwa abducted na baada ya muda wakaja kutupa kwa barabara so ni jambo ambalo hata wakati wa uhuru Kenyatta ilikuwa afadhali kuliko sasa hivi wakati wa William Ruto so hiyo inaonesha wazi kwamba William Ruto mambo mengi ambayo anayazungumza usichukulie serious kwa sababu ukichukulia serious wewe ndio utaumia kwa sababu inaonekana kwamba William Ruto mambo mengi anazungumza tu a uh, kuweza kufurahisha watu ama kuzungumza tu kwa muda ambao anaulizwa swali lakini akitoka pale mambo mengine yanaanza kutokea kwa sababu kama kweli angemaanisha kile ambacho alisema kwamba hakutakuwa na abductions tena katika serikali yake hatungekuwa tunaona habari kama hizi zikitokea katika mitandao ya kijamii na zikiweza kutangazwa na kwamba Kenya kumekuwa na abductions nyingi tena zaidi so sijui na maoni gani mtazamaji wangu ningependa sana nisikie maoni yako chini katika sehemu ya comment section na usiene mbali nitarejea hivi punde tu na mengi zaidi hii ni Jitani Media Kenya usiene mbali kwa sasa bye bye